Hey everybody, if you missed our last episode, we traveled five hours from our home in Camels, BC through the border crossing to the United States of America. And what do you do? What's the first thing you do when you hit United States? Well, of course, you go to Costco. The girls had to go check out their clothes and of course, I had to do a little review on the hot dog prices. So from there, we traveled to a little city, well, medium-sized city it's called Linwood right outside of Seattle Washington where we set up base and we're here for a week doing different adventures so this is part two of our Seattle trip and all the different things we get involved in I promise you this series will make you laugh in the end you'll have to watch to find out but let's just say I'm not welcome in Lumina Field anymore so day two begins with us traveling 30 minutes from our hotel in Linwood, Washington, all the way into the downtown core of Seattle. Good morning guys, how you doing? Day number two in America. So today we're going to the zoo. It's called the Wood Haven. I'll put it in the blue bloop down below, but it's basically the Seattle Zoo we're going to. So we have this cool um, membership. So it gives you three attractions in Calgary and gives you a 40% discount by doing that. 40% discount doing it. So. Got Grover parked here. My wife Lisa is just putting on sunscreen and Kenzie's behind the camera. So let's get started with the day. Today the temperature is, it says 17 in Grover Celsius. I'm thinking it's more like 20 and I'll do the bloop bloop down below what it converts to in Fahrenheit. So let's get on with the venture. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Entering the zoo, but I'm a little weirded out. There's no real signs. So prior to going to the zoo, I wanted to do some research on it. The zoo is actually called Woodland Park Zoo, but it's a suburb of Seattle. The zoo only holds animals that are endangered or wouldn't survive in the wilderness. There's a ton of different animals in the zoo, and it's really cool to be able to see them. So Murphy's Law, I didn't find this out till after, but they have this really, really cool interactive map on their website, and you can use it off your smartphone. So you get the map of the entire zoo, which is huge, is huge the area. The entrance we're entering is west end here, and as you can see, there's many, many gates, tons and tons of parking. It's easy to get confused in there, so it's a good idea to use the map as you go. They do give out paper ones, but this is environmentally friendly, which is really, really nice to use. But Murphy's Law, I didn't do my research prior, and we used the paper one the whole time. So this is the penguins. What's in there? Sure. These are called, uh, Kenzie says they're Australian birds. It's a kookaburra, Scarlett. 
So they this, called it ma mask lap wing or whatever. So this is cuckoo birds and mask lap lap wing and wonga pigeons. It's kind of cool. Very humid in there, as you can see on the um, on the glass. Oh, these are the wall bees. So this is the Woodland Zoo, but AK also known as the Seattle Zoo. Oh, that guy is so cute. Look at his eyebrows. Rocking the eyebrows, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big beak on you. There's a structure here, guys. It's so cool. This is my favorite part when you get trees that covered pass and then you got these whimsical trees that kind of hang down. It's so cool. Murphy's Law, when we were there, a lot of the animals we couldn't see. They were still tucked away from the night. That's as close as you guys get to the snow leopard, guys. Kind of a cool statue, though. So, so far, not a lot of animals, but a beautiful piece of uh, landscape. The trees are really cool. I don't know if they're plastic or not, guys, but these trees are wicked the way they're just framing the, the screen. One thing, we're not seeing a lot of animals, guys, but the... Um, where the animals are kept is really nice areas. They've they've really done a great job. Seems like there's lots of place for them to explore and water and lots of stuff to keep them stimulated, which is good. Sorry, what kind of bear? Sloth. Sloth. Sloth bear. Look at his face. It's a little bit different. And his ears are a bit different. He actually looks pretty grumpy for waking up in the morning. It's pretty cute. Really cool. They map bamboo along here. I wouldn't have known it'd grow here. So still not a lot of animals, but it's getting in the heat of the day. So unfortunately, this is a hard one to film as we're not getting a lot of animals. But I gotta say, this place, the structure, and the way it's kept is really good volunteers everywhere which are super friendly and very informative um, you can see that the paths are definitely wheelchair friendly I haven't ran into any problems anything really of any issues here so the accessibility is really really good here So we're going to the temperate forest now. Bug world, conservation, and a family farm. Yeah. 
place is massive it's huge but the grounds are kept so well and they have these water filling stations everywhere guys it's a great place to come actually and it's not the animal it's not the zoo's fault their animals are hiding because i'd be hiding too if there's this many people staring at me There's these green spaces everywhere for you to have lunch, and this is the petting zoo area, but I gotta give it, these buildings are really well done. Hey there guys, so mid-afternoon update, this place is massive. Uh, it's also confusing because all the trees are canopied over the path. Very well shaded, tons and tons of volunteers here. I honestly got to say their accessibility is really, really good. I would highly recommend it. Um, the only downflaw is, and it's not their fault, is a lot of the animals are away and, and it's 22 degrees and there's tons of people here, so I'd be hiding too, but very, very, very good day. I highly suggest coming here. We've got these water filling stations everywhere and it's so nice to be able to fill up your bottle and not be charged for for bottled water and that stuff. Let's continue on with the day. Lisa's talking about all the bugs that are in there. They're like death worms that will kill you. You hear that? The death bugs. So what'd you say? Scorpions? Uh, Cockroaches? Assassin, something or other. Cockroaches, tarantula. There's like a ton of them in there. There's like this long red one called fire or something. I don't know. <laughs> Me and Kenzie are like, no bugs for us. <laughs> Sorry, but that's bug world. So that's bug world. So confusing everywhere you've been. Park so well kept. Holy jeez. I was saying earlier that in the fall, I can't imagine this place looks like with leaves down, how much work that is. Like some of these leaves are ginormous, like elfin ears. This is going no program on today. I don't know what this is. Yeah, you're with the birds. Oh, we're with the birds, I guess. Only one open at a time. There. Thank you. So this is the Enclosure for birds. Common trumpet. Oh, that's Is he dead? Oh, 
Well, hey there, guys. So that concludes the Seattle Zoo or Woodland Zoo. Overall, our experience with this place is it's a great place to come. Lots of paths, definitely wheelchair accessible. It's paved almost the whole way. Tons and tons of volunteers, like I said earlier, and the water filling stations. It's, it's a great place. So next, next stop, I think the girls are going to get some food for lunch, and then we're going to move on. So thanks for going on with this adventure with me to Calgary. <laughs> I keep saying Calgary, but Seattle Zoo, because that was the last zoo we were at was in Calgary. So um, we'll catch you guys on that one. Thank you.